All right, today is the day. Um, I am driving over to the tune shop. Uh, exciting times. Uh, looking forward to seeing how this process works. I'm gonna try to get as much of it on camera as possible. You could probably hear, uh, you could probably hear, I, I mean, I'm, obviously I'm in the truck, <laughs> it's driving. It's actually not driving too bad. Um, you know, um, it needs a tune though, because it's not performing like it should, and that's what the tune shop told me. Um, ironically, it has very low power. I mean, low torque, low power. In other words, I built this engine for 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 power and torque in the lower part of the RPM range. I, I wanted more torque and more you know down low power. Uh, I don't care about top end speed. That's not my interest. I just want to be able to step on the gas and go uh, versus sit there and wait. Um, and that's exactly where I. That's how I built the engine for. But that's not where I have the power. I don't have the power anywhere. I don't have the power down low. And it feels pretty normal in the mid and upper uh, RPM uh, ranges and upper mid and upper gears. But it just doesn't have the power where I built the engine to have the power. It, in fact, when I'm coming here to a red light, uh, it idles really rough. You know, that's not a surprise with the throttle body and all that, you know, learning all that. Um, it just, it just, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what the tune can do because uh, everybody told me, everybody said, when you replace, rebuild an engine <clears throat> that's so far from stock, when you get in and drive it, it's, you're not going to like the experience. And uh, so far, I'm not really too crazy about the experience, but you know, um, yeah. So, but everything seems to be running normal here. Here I am from the stop. You hear it? That's the exhaust is really loud. up to 4,000 RPM, and then that was a real, <clears throat> you know, the transmissions, it's <clears throat> you know, from first to second, so who knows if I have an issue with the transmission, or maybe one of the, the one, two solenoids, who knows, but it's a real rough shift into second, um, and I had that problem <clears throat> previously <clears throat> with the, the comms issue, the famous wiring comms issue, ground issue. I've had that problem for a long time on this truck. The comms ground issue where door locks go freaking out. The gauges go berserk. Um, you know, I, I replaced every, cleaned up and replaced every single ground connection I could find on this truck. So hopefully that's fixed some of those issues. Um, but other than that, we'll see what the tune shop has to say. We'll try to get most of that on film, and um, yeah, it's an exciting day. I mean, hopefully, wish me luck. Hope all things go well. <laughs> we'll see it. We'll see you when we're at the shop. So here we are at the tune shop, and for this particular tune, we are using Mayhem Motorsports, and Mayhem Motorsports is located in Northeast Raleigh, uh, North Carolina. And as you can see from their window here, they specialize in General Motors uh, performance specialists. And uh, their website uh, has a lot of good information. They're uh, highly recommended, good folks. Uh, had a real nice conversation with these folks before I chose to use them. And here's their website, mayhemmotorsports.net. And here's their, um, their website with their phone number and their address there and again they're located in Raleigh North Carolina and if you navigate to their website and click on the services button you'll get to see everything that they do basically what I'm here for is the performance dyno tune after doing my engine rebuild here's a look around the shop and you can see obviously there's their business name and the equipment that they're using to perform the tune the computer equipment and such Okay, in this image you can see my Suburban is on the dyno. Look at the back wheels on the dyno and 
Certainly the uh, rest of the truck is strapped down and held in place and ready to go uh, for the tune. And of course here's another look at the Suburban on the dyno and uh, getting ready for the exciting part here coming up here just a moment. Stay tuned. The awesome technicians at Mayhem Motorsports spent a considerable amount of time dialing in and testing various computer settings until the performance numbers were just right. Once the Mayhem techs found the optimum settings and locked them in, it was time for them to demonstrate this newfound performance to me. So this next video segment shows the engine being run through all the RPM ranges to test the new computer settings. At the conclusion of this test, I was given a printout of the new horsepower and torque readings. Wide open throttle here. Okay. We'll act, drive the vehicle as well and make sure that everything's good there for us. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Sweet. Did that engine sound good? What a huge difference the tune made. These guys at Mayhem Motorsports in Raleigh, North Carolina are awesome. I was completely amazed at how good the engine sounded and what my horsepower and torque reading showed. But before I show the specs printout, let's listen to that engine one more time. So here's a closer look at the results of my tune. And let me just point out that these are readings at the wheels. So, um, you know, everybody I showed this to said, wow, you know, what a, what a, a real increase, a real gain. Um, you know, you can see the max power uh, the max uh, horsepower is about 305 roughly at about 5,000 RPM and the max torque is about 333 foot-pounds at about uh, 4,400 RPMs. So, uh, you know, to get, to get that kind of torque, um, you know, really jumping up there after 2,000 RPM. Remember, remember the stage one truck uh, cam that I put in was basically made for torque increases and you'll see there uh, not only did it you know peak around 4300 rpm but it you know didn't really uh, decrease a whole lot um, it was fairly steady once we got above 2000 rpm so um, so all in all that's really what I was looking for I was looking for that torque between you know, to 2,500 and 5,000 RPM. That's exactly what I built this engine for. And quite frankly, that's what it looks like I got. You know, I wanted that power, that torque down low to be able to really, um, you know, oftentimes I'm pulling a trailer to be able to, you know, pass up that 18 wheeler as I'm going up, a, you know, up, up a hill, you know, on the interstate, you know, that, that's kind of the power that I'm looking for. And uh, I'm very pleased that that's exactly, uh, it appears what I got. And um, while the horsepower, you know, looks like I may have gained, you know, anywhere from 50 to 100 uh, horsepower, it looks like my real gains were on the torque and, and that's kind of what I was looking for. So all in all, um, I'm really pleased with these curves and these numbers. And, uh, and I have to say, you know, after the tune, uh, looks like uh, I got what I was looking for. And uh, looks uh, so far, at least at this point, to be 
uh, fairly successful. So uh, just just what I was looking for in these numbers. All right. Well, the tune is done, and I am happy to report that I just can't get over how nice this thing runs now. <laughs> it's got the power that I was. It's got the torque that I was hoping for. That's what I built it for, and that tune made all the difference in the world. And I, I wish. I wish there was a way I could... Well, you probably saw it on the tune, when they, how, how good it sounded and looked. Um, but I wish I could demonstrate better for you here how well it looks and sounds just in my daily driving around town. But I'm kind of windows up, AC on kind of guy, so I don't have the windows down. You probably couldn't hear it anyway. But, uh, but anyway, um, I'm very, very, very pleased. So, uh, what is left to do? The project is essentially complete. So, what I have left to do is I have to get the truck inspected, okay, and then renew up my, uh, you know, top off my registration and get all that stuff because it's been sitting for over a year, not driving, not inspected. Uh, so, I have a little bit of that kind of paperworkish kind of stuff to do. Uh, one of the, well, one of the, uh, one of my followers here on this channel asked about, you know, will it inspect okay? And, uh, you know, I fully intend that it will, uh, but, and we'll, we'll find out here in just a second. Um, what else? We've got, I've got my printouts here, which maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll share in, a, in a, my torque and, uh, horsepower printouts here. Um, everybody at the tune shop said that that looks pretty good based on, you know, what this truck normally produces. Um, and let's see, what else? So, um, I'm going to get inspection. Uh, we'll share the tune stuff. And other than that, we should be, this project should be wrapped up. But, in case you're wondering, what about the engine that came out of the Suburban? Um, I'm going to film that too. I'm going to tear that engine down and we're going to get into what happened to that engine and which will reveal a lot about why I did this project in the first place. So I'll film that too and I'll add that to my, uh, to my, uh, channels, but my, my, uh, uh, videos will probably be, you know, a little bit more spread out now until, um, uh, until I get my next project and rebuild that engine. Uh, so in the meantime, def definitely subscribe, hit the alert button so that you can follow all my 5.3 projects, future projects that is, because I do have the engine that is sitting outside, That I, the engine that was in this Suburban in the first place, uh, that needs to be rebuilt. And I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild that and you can follow along uh, my journey with that. And uh, I'm gonna hopefully find a truck to put it in. Uh, so, uh, so anyway, um, follow me along, be sure to subscribe, hit the alert button. I will be creating additional content. Um, and, uh, but I really appreciate everybody following me along, uh, this journey. It's been a lot of fun, very rewarding, and it's very doable, very, very doable by, you know, if you're familiar with doing mechanical work. And if you have the time, but if you don't have the time, and if you need it for daily driving, doing an engine rebuild yourself is not, let me underscore, not the way to go. I'll probably create an episode on lessons learned, things I would have done differently, um, and that sort of thing. So uh, definitely uh, be sure to subscribe to, to catch those videos as well. All right. So uh, it's been a kind of an interesting morning. I'm going to probably go ahead and uh, cut off for now. And uh, But again, stay tuned because there will be more videos, a lesson learned video. And, um, uh, and we'll get into, uh, we'll be uh, sharing uh, the teardown of the old engine. Okay. And with that, thank you so much for watching and being part of this journey. Okay. With that, enjoy. Uh, and uh, 
5.3 performance optimization. That's what we were hoping to do. Uh, optimize the performance of this engine, and that's what we did. Thank you so much.